Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you on how to make an automatic wheat farm. But before we do that, we need a couple of items, and they are a lot of water buckets, redstone repeaters, redstone, st sticky pistons, and some seeds, which will grow wheat. I would recommend, if you're playing on survival, to make an infinite water supply source, like shown here, to collect water during our project. To start off, first we need to find a flat area which I've already found and start digging. So what we first do, I have done here, get a block, block here, take it out and we go, including this block, six out. So, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. What we do, we do this on all, all sides, like which I've shown, like this. What I have just simply done is I counted four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Placed a cobblestone, which we're going to dig a line, six out again. And then missed one and put a cobblestone, six out again, same thing. Then counted four blocks, one, two, three, four, put a cobblestone, and off we go. Same thing. So I'm going to be doing the same thing which I've done on the first, so take that one out, and just like that one more. Just like that. So I will do it on all all sides and I'll be back with you shortly. Yes, I am back YouTube and I am ready to continue. I have as you can see can finished off our lines. And as I was doing that I miscalculated, sorry. And we have to continue digging two out, so it should be eight altogether. Really sorry. So one, two. Just continue digging out two more. There, sorry about that, but got confused. And there, so I've con I've dug eight out all together. Now what we do is we have to build our collection port. Don't worry, I'm going to be continuing building more, but just so I so we want I want to choose going my old crops to go that way, so it'll be filled into a line to go into my shed somewhere there. So I'm gonna be choosing from here. Just go one, one more. D. So what's gonna happen is our crop, which is gonna be growing on this field, the water is gonna let it go, and the water, as the water is letting go, it's gonna be carried down by a water stream, and into the main area where I'm gonna be collecting the whole thing. Don't worry, you'll be seeing it, and I'll show you how to do it. So, okay. So, as I've done that, I... So, part one is completed. So, one more to go, so don't worry. It's nearly done. Just continue this, taking this... These grow so quickly. Irritating sometimes. So, now what we do is we leave... Our... Two. Yes, we leave... No, three, three, sorry. We leave three and we fill the rest over here just like that. So just be looking like that from this perspective. Just like a big wall. And I am gonna dig one more there. And now as we have done that I am gonna put one more layer just like that all the way there so that's how it should be looking and now this is the place where our infinite water source comes to use Shoot, water bucket water bucket Water. It should be filled on every block, so I'll just do. I'll fill it up because it's gonna take a while, and I'll go to bed, and I'll be up in the morning. 
I'm back YouTube and I have as you can see completed the thing yeah just like that uh, but I forgot to, just to tell you I, I keep forgetting stuff sorry um, about doing making the same wall over here but yeah and it should be just the same but it should be only one high so so just like that uh, like that one two running out I'll gather more resources and I'll come back and I'll probably have finished this so as you can see I'm doing exactly the same as I did over there and I'll be back with you shortly after I complete this one I'm back and uh, while I was out I completed this so there's two and I filled water in the holes which you had created earlier and I gathered more cobblestone without cobblestone generator which I've done in the last episodes be sure to watch that and I've just done that and now all it's left to make a collection port which I'm gonna show you right now and you may be wondering why I created this I'll show you later why so And the so all I've did now you can see probably here I dug two down uh, like one down from this one down and I'm gonna be putting water bucket until it goes eight so what's gonna happen is all our crop is gonna be falling into here and I'll be creating a station later so dig one because once the water stops you have to dig one more level down and allow it to continue flowing there we are or if you're like me I don't like I don't know much about water and I don't I don't want to risk I don't want to take risk taking I'll just dig one more so two down and do you want it to here take that off so there we are so what's gonna happen now is I'll show you with cobblestone here. So suppose so the uh the wheat from here is taken away by the water and it's gonna be floating into here and as it floats it's gonna be coming down into this water area and it will be dragged into a collection bay which I'll be creating later. So there, just like that. And now, what, what you can do is, is the same thing which I did here, exactly the same thing, on how many times you want, it's gonna work. So I'll just do one more time to show you as a good example. And I'll, I'll do that, and I'll be right with you. It should be looking like this once it is done, just like that, and. All it is left to do, you might be asking, why did I ask you to bring sticky pistons into this tutorial? And this is why. So what we're going to do is make the sticky pistons lift this block up to allow all the water to flow out. And this can be done by putting one block over, just like that. I use cobblestone. Um, oops. I guess that. The first one's the hardest, just like that, facing down, facing down, yeah. Just do it all the way without falling into our canals. Oops. There, all the way to our last block here. And what I suggest you not putting it over here because then it will just overflow. So I delete this, this, so there. It should be just looking like this four and four. I'll do it on the, I'll quickly do it on the other side and I'll be with you shortly. Here I am back. And as you can see, I think I'm running out of time, but I'm going to continue this on part two. But if you think you've got the hang of this and you know what I'm going to be doing, continue on. But if you don't, and I'm going to be